Ethiopian authorities have arrested journalist Eskinder Nega nine times on charges that include treason, terrorism and genocide. But Nega says the abuse won't stop him from writing critically about the government. Without freedom of expression, has, uh, you know, freedom is just impossible. It's, it starts from there. You have, to, you have to be able to express yourself. Nega's latest release was on April 5th, just days after a new prime minister was sworn in, raising some hopes for change. He has given us promise. Uh, we need him to deliver on those promises. Uh, we haven't seen anything in action up to, up to now. Across East Africa, laws against terrorism and threats to national security are often used to restrict the media and encourage self-censorship. Looking at um, Kenya, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Burundi up to about three, four years ago, were really the, the jewels of the continent. You know, everybody, West African countries were told, oh, why can't you emulate your East African counterparts? But um, I feel like now the applause has gone to our heads and the Western countries need to stop applauding and asking us the hard questions. In Tanzania, media who dare to question the government have been shut down. There are some newspapers which were banned, some of them three, three years, and some of them so for several months and others for good. In Uganda, the Human Rights Network for Journalists has collected video of police attacking reporters. The rights group says the police were the top violator of press freedom in 2017. The police was cast in very bad light because it was responsible for 83 um, cases of the 113, representing 73 percent. Uganda's police spokesman denies there is impunity for police who attack the press. We've taken them to court, we've, we've investigated those cases, we've, uh, courts have found them guilty, have sentenced them, and off they go. That shows the will on the part of the police. The region's media are pushing back against legal restrictions and government pressure. The week-long blackout of four independent broadcasters this year in Kenya drew intense criticism. Citizens really need to stand up and own the freedom of the press as one of the things that will protect them and will enable them to go further in terms of um, development and safeguarding and, and protecting their own rights. So freedom of the, of the press is really the freedom of every ordinary citizen in the region. People are beginning to wake up to the seriousness of the issue, says Nyanyuki, so there is cause for optimism. Daniel Sheriff, VOA News, Nairobi.